Hello, welcome to Microsoft Azure Cloud channel. In this module, we will talk about how to import data into Azure Synapse Analytics by using Polybase. We will do multiple steps to implement this. We will create Azure Synapse Analytics and we, create, we will create block container for the source data. We will upload data to an Azure Blob Storage container and we'll import data from blob storage to Azure Synapse Analytics by using Polybase. We use Polybase to extract, load, and transform data. When, after we loading data into Azure Blob Storage, we will import the data into SQL Data Warehouse staging tables by using Polybase. I'm in the Azure portal. I will go to search. Now we type storage account. Click on storage accounts, click on add. I'll create a resource group. Load data. Polybase resource group. And we need to give a storage account name. I'll say storage account for loading. Location East US and account kind, let's keep it storage V2. Replication, locally redundant storage. Let's go to networking, let's keep it public endpoint networks. And let's keep everything default and go to review and deploy the storage account. While deployment in progress, I will go to home and go to search, type Synapse. And click on Azure Synapse Analytics. Click on add. I'm creating Azure Synapse Analytics now. Let's choose the resource group, load data polybase. And we need to give SQL pool, SQL pool. Zero two. And I don't have any servers available. I will create one server. Equal test server zero two. And we need to select credentials. We will use these credentials to log into SQL Server. and location is to yes, click OK. And click on performance level and I will keep it 100 data warehouse units and go to networking and enable public endpoint connectivity method and allow Azure services resources to access this server as yes add current client IP address, click on S. And additional settings, keep them default and go to review. And let's deploy this synapse. While this deployment in progress, let's see if we have storage account is available. I'll go to resource groups. So uh, we have storage account is ready. So I will go to storage account and go to containers and click on container. I'll create a container. Container test 01. And public access level, keep it container anonymous read access for containers and blocks and create it. Now I have container available, click on container. So I will upload the data now. So I have this source data available, data file. Let's click on data file. Let's upload, upload this file. So the upload is completed. So I will open this file. So let's see what we have in the source file. So 
so we have source file we have data in the source file date timestamp and month so we will load this data into azure synapse and let's check if we have synapse available i will click on sql server test sql server and click on sql databases yeah we have sql pool available status online so let's click on sql pool and go to query editor and we need to we need to enter our credentials to connect to the sql server So now I connected to SQL Server, so I will open a new window. And we need we need storage account key and URL to load data using Polybase. So first we will create a master key. The first step in using Polybase is to create a database corporate credentials that secures the credentials to the blob storage. So we will create a master key first and then use this key to encrypt the database corporate credential name. So we are creating master key and here identity, we need to enter the storage account name and then storage account key. I'll go to storage account and this is our storage account name. And I'll go to access keys and I'll just copy the key and paste it here. And let's, uh, I will run this query. So we should see query succeeded and affected row zero. So here is the message query succeeded and affected zero affected rows. Now we will create an external data source connection. We use the database scope credentials to create an external data source named the Azure storage and we have to copy the URL from the container. So now I'm creating an external data source connection type Hadoop and then location. This is our container name. And then this is the location of the container and then credentials, so Azure credential. I will run this query. So once this is completed, then we will define the import file format. We will define the external file format a name text file and the name indicates polybase that the format of the text file is delimited text and field terminator is a comma. We will do that after this step. Now this query succeeded and affected row zero. So let's open a new query and let's define the import file format. So we're creating external file format, text file and format type delimited text and format options, field delimiter, comma. Let's run this query. And query succeeded and affected zero rows. And now we will create a temporary table. We create an external table named 
DBO temp with the column definition for our table. So uh, at the bottom of the query, we will use with class to call the data source definition name Azure storage as previously defined and then file format text file. And the location denotes the files for the load or in the root folder. So I will open a new query. And here is the query. So we can see I'm creating a temporary table to hold the imported data. So this is our temporary table. And this is the location. The location denotes that the files for the load are in the root folder of the data source. And our data source, Azure storage and file format, text file. I will run this query. It takes a few seconds to complete and reports query succeeded, affected zero rows. Yeah, we see that in the message, query succeeded, affected zero rows. Now we will create a destination file, uh, destination table. So we create a physical table in the SQL data warehouse. I will open a new query. So we are loading data from Azure Blob Storage to SQL Data Warehouse. We will we create a physical table in the SQL Data Warehouse database. We create a name, the staging table name, stage date. This table has a cluster column store index defined on all the columns. It uses a table geometry of round robin by design because round robin is the best table geometry to use for loading data. So I will run this query. And it takes few seconds to complete and report same message, query succeeded, affected zero rows. So now we have data loaded in the stage date table, staging table, from the temporary table to stage date. So let's check if we have data available in the stage tables. I will select from the uh, stage table. I just run a simple select query. Select star from staging table. Let's run this query. So we should see the same data here. So we see date, date key, month key, month, February and quarter Q1. So now we successfully loaded data into SQL Data Warehouse database using Polybase. And we can add statistics, statistics onto columns to improve query performance. Let's open a new query window. So we create statistics on the new data. Let's run this query. Create statistics on columns that feature in queries to improve the query performance against the table. So, so far we have loaded our first staging table in Azure Synapse Analytics. From here, we can write further transect SQL queries to perform transformations into dimension and fact tables. Try it out by querying the stage, stage date table in the query explorer or any other query tool, we can use SSMS. And refresh the view on the left to see a new table or tables that we created. So I will just go, to, I will just refresh this and click on table. So here we should, we see that temporary table and then staging table. So we successfully imported data into Azure Synapse Analytics by using Polybase. If you have any questions, please post in the comment section. If you like this video, 
please subscribe and share the channel thank you